Hi, my name is Hardy Rupan and I am the man in the wild. And in today's adventure, I'm going to take you on a beautiful and historical tour of the famous San Fernando Hill. Stay tuned for that. Please consider supporting our channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell icon. Turning off Royal Road in San Fernando onto Circular Road, take the first left on the entrance to Sung's Great Wall, the famous Chinese restaurant. Continue past the restaurant. On the right hand side, you will see a large concrete wasa water tank. Once you see this tank, you know you are on the right road. The park at the top of the San Fernando Hill is usually opened between 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Although there is a security checkpoint at the bottom of the hill, you are free to enter during the open hours. It is recommended to visit this park by vehicle as it is a long, tedious uphill hike if you decide to trek it by foot. Taking a slow drive allows you to enjoy the ambient beauty of this magnificent hill. Taking your time also allows you a much safer drive as the road is narrow and the speed limit is just 15 kilometers per hour. There are also various picnic points along the entry road to the top of the hill. There are also a couple of park benches located at key vantage points looking over the city. Once you have reached the point where you see these white painted concrete cylinders, Look up ahead, you will see an arched entranceway. This arched entranceway leads to a beautiful children's play park located on the left-hand side of the road. You can choose to turn off on the left and go through the arched entranceway to get to the children's play park, or continue on the right up the hill to the main park. As you approach the top of the hill, the road becomes a one-way loop. You would be entering on top of the hill on the western end. And when you are leaving, you will loop back from the eastern end of the hill onto this main road that goes up the hill. You will enter at the western end and instantly you will see car park lined from the western end to the eastern end. There is no shortage of car parks at the top of the hill. Once you have found a safe place to park, you can go about exploring the park at the top of the hill. Keep in mind not to venture beyond the maintained lawn edges as you see here as venturing further than the maintained area may lead to falls and accidents. If you bring children with you to visit this park, please be very watchful as children tend to get in the areas they are not supposed to. For their safety, keep a close eye on them and do not allow them to stray far from your group. 
there are various lookout points throughout the park from which you can get a very good view of the city below. This particular vantage point gives you a view of the northern side of the city across the Vestabella and Marabella area. A very interesting historical fact about this hill is before colonization, the Amerindians considered this hill to be a very sacred place. They called this hill Anaparima, which meant single hill, as it was a single large dome-shaped hill located on the coastline. The Amerindians traveled from the Venezuela mainland through the Orinoco Delta across the Gulf of Paria in their canoes. They made that long journey every year for their annual pilgrimage that they kept upon this hill. During the 1970s, because of the greater demand for aggregates to build roads and buildings, the San Fernando Hill was quarried to a significant amount. Approximately one third of its height was lost due to these quarrying practices. The quarrying ceased in the 1980s. This picnic hut that you see here is located on the western side of the hill. It contains numerous picnic tables as well as a functional sink and accommodations for you to bring your firecracker to prepare meals as you picnic. The park's opening hours are from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Here you can see results of the quarrying leaving a bare cliff face edge. This trail on the west end of the San Fernando Hill leads to a radar tower that overlooks the Gulf of Paria. There are also a couple of short exploration trails leading off the main park area. Be very careful when exploring these trails as one may fall off a cliff edge or something from above may fall upon you. This trail leads to an area that gives you a view of the south side of the hill overlooking Pleasantville and the San Fernando area. If you do visit this park and venture off onto any of these trails, always keep a sharp eye out for fallen objects and make sure you take a partner along with you just in case you end up in difficulties. Also, keep in mind, because of the altitude, the wind can pick up very strong. Although it appears that I am exploring alone, I do have my partner keeping a close eye on me. During the 1970s, heavy quarrying disfigured the hill from its natural dome shape, displaying the shape that we see today. During the 1980s, protests from the citizens put a stop to the quarrying. The hill was labeled as a protected national park, and the Forestry Division of Trinidad and Tobago took over management of the park and constructed this visitor center at the center of the park. Today, when you visit the park, you can walk through its many pathways, enjoy its beautiful sceneries, and even this water fountain.
when you visit the park, be sure to check out the visitor center. Because of the uneven terrain at the top of the park, you can only see sections of the park at any one given time. Here, I'm giving you a 360 degree view of this section of the park. At the east end of the park, there is a beautiful walkway shaded by these beautiful exotic trees. The most famous peak on the hill is located on the east end as well. Persons sightseeing or even taking wedding photos usually visit this peak where they use it as a backdrop to take their beautiful photos. While visiting the park, you will see an abundance of wild animals, birds, iguanas, and as we see here, the squirrel is scampering across the ground. Let's see if we could get a closer look at it. In the brief time I spent on the hill this morning, I saw approximately six squirrels scampering around on the ground. The San Fernando Hill is rich in history. It stands as a monument of beauty even after facing destruction. It is a symbol of the strength of the people that stood up to protect its heritage. So whenever you are in the hustle of the city of San Fernando, keep in mind there is a place just a few minutes away in the heart of the city that you can take a peaceful, relaxing break. Please consider supporting our channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell icon.